Good morning, Kettle Run. Today is Monday, October 31st. Filling in for Katherine Sheffer, I'm Kyler McCorkendale. First off, I'd like to state, Happy Halloween! The mock election was last week. Trump was the clear winner, receiving 50.8% of the vote, while Clinton received just 31.5% of the vote. Many of you sent in some great selfies. Congratulations to Ryan Schwind, Grace Small, Nikki Wilson, and R Robbie Sc Sc Scatiano for winning a free hot chocolate. Stop by room 223 to claim your prize. The, brand, the grand prize goes out to Mackie Ratter. You have won a Yeti style cup. See Mr. Wright to claim your prize. Cooler weather is here, and that means hot chocolate in the library. Sales start tomorrow in the library. Stuff the Bus is happening all this week. The NHS would like to challenge everyone to bring in at least one can, including faculty and staff. Donations should be given to homeroom teachers. If we all bring in one can, that would be over 1,300 cans for families in need. Looking for a good movie to check out? Chris Dodson and Tyler Marshall join us now with their picks. Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Chris Dodson. Welcome to At The Cinema. Tyler, what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about the new Logan trailer. It just revealed last week on YouTube, and I'm very excited for it because it is the final Wolverine film, but it also has an R rating. That, that's a big deal, uh, it's especially coming off since the su success of Deadpool. That's mainly the reason why Logan has an R rating. I'm actually really excited that they're finally going to be able to explore the violence of the Wolverine's character and his inner psyche. And, uh, Logan. It was just a great trailer. It had great music in it too. Don't even. Do you want to oh, the Johnny Cash <laughs> yeah, they, song. They used Johnny made Cash. Made the is... trailer like that trailer would not have been anywhere near as impactful as it was without Johnny Cash's hurt. I agree. So, what are your predictions for this movie? Like, what do you think? My predictions is is that based on the trailer, at the end, at the end of the trailer, it actually shows. Logan holding a shovel and it looks like he's just been through battle and honestly he's holding a shovel and he's looking down almost ex almost as if he's mourning and Xavier isn't there so I assume that Xavier dies. That's that's the main theory that's going around. I've seen it on Reddit and other places. Well, he's probably it's it, Professor Xavier's gonna die. This is I mean Patrick Stewart he's been doing it since the year 2000 along with Hugh Jackman and they're both retiring. That's what I'm assuming that's gonna happen in the end of the movie. They're both gonna be retiring from their characters and that's gonna be that. Yeah, I really hope that Logan dies at the end of this because it would make a very good ending to the Wolverine trilogy. And honestly, the, Logan is dying. He has a decaying healing factor. He's reverting to alcoholism because he's in so much pain that he can't even barely put a shirt on. That's what you saw in the trailer. Like he's like struggling to put a shirt on. And I think if he dies at the end of this movie, it would be a good ending where like no one can try to pick it up again and possibly ruin the character. Right. One of the things I'm most excited about for the film is uh, Boyd Hallbrook. He recently became famous from starring in the show Nikos, and he's planning on playing the main antagonist in the new Logan film, and I'm actually really excited to see what he does with the character. And that's one thing I really was hoping for. When Hugh Jackman on Instagram started posting these like little teaser photos of the new Logan movie, I was really just wanting, wanting a trailer, but more than anything, I really wanted a drama. I did not want a sci-fi film that like the others. I wanted to just be like total drama and like no sci-fi at all, not CGI. In fact, in a page of the script, basically um, Hugh Jackman says, hey, this is not CGI, this isn't anything like that. And I'm really glad about that because Wolverine, he's a violent character. He doesn't need any CGI. And I, I think that when it's based solely on drama, and I think the title, just Logan, is just a human title, and I hope it's a human movie. Oh, I'm really excited. It comes out in what? February, March? March 3rd. All right, so uh, next week, what are you going to talk about? Next week, we're talking about Hacksaw Ridge. The new film directed by Mel Gibson. Until then... Thanks guys, auditions for this year's talent show will be held tomorrow. You must sign up for an audition time outside of Miss Fry's room by the end of the day. Now for club news and sports with Chris Dodson. Thanks Kyla. Lori Cassio, Regional Coordinator of Student for Life Association, will be coming tomorrow morning with an information table set up in the Commons area. She will return to school at 2.45 for discussion in room 209. All students are welcome. What does this week's weather look like? Brad Jeffers joins us now with details.
Thanks, Chris. Okay, guys, so today's weather is going to be 62 degrees and mostly cloudy skies for most part of the day. Then it's moving to tomorrow. It's going to warm up a little bit to about 69 and just be cloudy all day long. Then on Wednesday, we're looking at 79 degrees, so it's going to be kind of warm with mostly cloudy skies again. <laughs> That's the weather we're knowing better. Back to you. Thanks, Brad. Girls tennis will not practice today. Happy Halloween. However, girls should report to the weight room tomorrow. Their practices are mandatory to make the team. Winter sports tryouts are on Monday, November 7th. Sports include basketball, wrestling, swimming, and track. Freshmen and juniors are new to Kettle Run, need an impact test. Have a great day. We leave you with a look at the birthdays and the lunch menu.